The chief China correspondent for Singapore's Straight Times newspaper, Ching Chong, was charged by the communist regime for, quote, stealing core state secrets. Chong was secretly tried in Beijing on Tuesday, and his family was forbidden to attend the hearing. Although details of the trial are hard to obtain, rights groups say the regime often manufactures charges of stealing state secrets to detain political activists who have committed no real crime. Many legal experts believe it is very difficult for Chong to receive a fair and just trial and said he could be sentenced to up to eight years in prison. Here's more. At 9.30 a.m. on Tuesday, Ching Chong was tried at the Second Intermediate People's Court of Beijing. Apart from two defending lawyers, none of Chong's family members were present. It is said that they were forbidden to attend the hearing. The communist regime only informed Singapore's Straits Times newspaper about the date of the trial. The family was not informed. One of Chong's lawyers, He Pehua, was hired with the approval of the Chinese State Security Authority. Ching Chong was seized on April 22 of 2005 in Guangzhou City, where he was scheduled to meet a source who had promised to give him a copy of a politically sensitive manuscript, according to the journalist's wife, Mary Lau. In communist rule China, politically sensitive issues are considered state secrets. During the SARS outbreak in 2003, Chinese officials covered up information on the spread of SARS, for instance. The Chinese Communist Party's law states any cases associated with state secrets are prohibited to have an open trial. No open trial means that no other people, including family members, are allowed to attend the trial. Wang also said, that since the charge of stealing state secrets is a very serious crime, a fair and just trial is essential, yet this seems impossible for Ching Chiong. From what we observe, Ching Chiong may be sentenced to five to eight years in prison. Ching Chiong was accused of spying by the communist regime, but his family and friends deny the charge. On the night of the trial, various community organisations held candlelight vigils to support Ching Chiong and called on the communist regime to give him a fair and just trial.